Why hello my fellow YouTubers. How's it going? I hope everyone's well. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Duff Freak aka Ali. Um, today I'll be showing you guys how to install uh, PS1 game, PS2 and portable PlayStation games as an emulator on an Android Samsung. Uh, currently I'm using S21 um, Ultra so I've it's only a few steps. Uh, what you need to do, first thing you need to do is uh, get in your phone. You need to go to App Store, uh, Google Play. What you need to do search for is, um, you need to search for this, Damon PS2, you need Dark Station PP SSPP. Just those three. I've tried the others, they're a bit riddly with bugs and um, Unstable, the, the, um, this one, this one, and Play works as well. Play works without a BIOS. You don't need a BIOS to, to run PS2 game. Uh, only some, some games work, not all. Uh, these other three will need a BIOS, and I will be leaving a download link to that for the BIOS. So, that's what you'll need to download those apps. Right there, I'm going to hold it for a few seconds so you guys can see. And then you're going to have to download a BIOS to run each uh, console um, so I'll be leaving the link below for that just to show how everything works um, we'll get to that in a minute right first things first you load up Firefox and then all you need to do is if you want free ROMs you need to just write free ROMs dot dot com and it will take you there and you get to choose on the side here what you what you want to download all the games you want to download basically for uh, PS1 or portable PlayStation or Sega everything's here but if you want a PS2 games I recommend that you go to this one it's called coolrom.com <clears throat> excuse me coolrom.com.au it's in Australia um, Again, um, this is where I get all my PS2 ROMs. Now, for the BIOS, this is what you will need here. Uh, it is apne.com. A as in app, A W P N E dot com. Apne.com. That's where you need to go to download for all your BIOS. See, that's all the BIOS that you need for whatever console that you want to emulate on your phone. Now that you've done that, there's a few steps. What you need to do is you go to your files, uh, internal phone, and create a folder anywhere for the for the for the ROMs. So I've already made one emulator games right there. So hit that. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've allocated the Sony Portable, Sony PS1. I've named them all. Inside each folder, um, say I will put the this is what this is what you'll need for the ps2 by the way the uh the bios that's the bios right there so once you've installed that from your computer oh you can <clears throat> there's two ways of doing this you can download off your computer connect it drag and drop through decks or you can download it all and unzip it in your phone using zip zip seven or uh, seven uh sorry seven seven zip or something something like that. what everyone's using it's free and you can unzip it in your phone and then install it but that's just just it's just a headache so um fiddling around with the phone so what you do is um you download it connect it and uh bring up dex right there as you can see dex is loaded up go to my files as if you go on here uh restart so i'm in dex right now i'll navigate to internal hard drive where I put my games emulator games folder where I put it on the phone and the folders that I've made I drag the current spot the I'm oh, sorry my bad <laughs> my bad I drag the corresponding um, BIOS to each folder all right same with your ROMs okay ROMs going to the correct corresponding uh, folder if it's PS2, you put it in the PS2 folder that you made in your internal drive in your phone. So now that you've done all that, <clears throat> uh, 
now that you've done all that, as you can see, I'm dragging, I don't know if you can see that, I'm dragging games that I've downloaded in, currently into my hard drive right now, so I've got it plugged in. Uh, but I will show you that everything works, the games are already on there. So we'll start with PlayStation 1, which is Duck Station. You will need Duck Station. So what you need to do is uh, uh, start your BIOS, or you find your BIOS. <clears throat> I've already installed my BIOS in there, so I don't need to do it. Um, so it's self-explanatory, basically, where you've put your BIOS in your internal hard drive. Uh, direct this to that. Hit it and then uh, start files. So uh, in my case, and um, uh, I'm going to scan for new games. Okay, start files. These are the files that's in that I've installed. Um, okay, now let's just try Crash Bandicoot. Press As you can see, PS1 works pretty well. So I'm just going to exit out of this one. Uh, one second. Okay, now I'll go into the PSP portable PlayStation. <clears throat> That's all the games I've installed. You can see they all work. Let's just try uh, Need for Speed. Works perfectly. Yes. Auto save. So that's pretty good. I haven't adjusted the resolution and framing and bit rate and all that yet. Um, so, we're just going to exit out of that one. Uh, exit, that's the PlayStation Portable. Now we're going to go into uh, PlayStation 2. This is the Daemon. You're going to, um, it's on Google Store. You can get it for free back then, the Pro version, but now you have to pay for it. So, um, I got it while it was free a while back. So that's all the PS2 games that I've installed. Um, now, I just installed more, so what I'm going to do is see. You can auto scan ROMs and BIOS. I've already put the BIOS in there, and I'm just going to scan the ROM. It will do its thing. Check for all the games that I've installed. I should have a few there. Done. That's all the games that's in there. Uh, I'm not pirating, by the way. I'm not pirating anything. I'm not stealing anything. These are all available on the internet uh, to download for free. Uh, ROMs, you know, um, Sony knows about it, Nintendo knows about it, so I'm not stealing anything, or I don't, con I don't condone um, stealing for hard work from other people. So if you like something, pay for it. But this thing, these are all old games from 20 years ago, up for free, and you can pl play them on your phone. So um, let's just uh, Soul Calibur. Let's try one. This is a PS2. You can control, obviously, sorry, <clears throat> uh, you can connect your Xbox controller or Bluetooth controller or any Bluetooth controller and play. I don't have one, so it doesn't bother me. It's a bit stuttery, I'll probably just have to adjust. What's going on here? Oh no. It's a different game. It wasn't what it was. Uh, 
Where is it? Space Invaders. What are the... <laughs> supposed to be Need for Speed. Obviously, <clears throat> it's not. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, Soul Calibur 2, 3, that was supposed to be. Let's try Soul Calibur 2. This one seems to be working. <coughs> Excuse me. The correct game. <laughs> there we go. Looks pretty good. Now. Versus Cassandra. She chooses her path like a free bird. Don't worry, Tom. Battle one. Fight. Nice bit la laggy. I've got to adjust uh, the performance settings. I haven't done that yet. Got it a bit smoother. So, we know it works. Everything seems working alright, so I hope you guys liked that. How to install PS1, P uh, portable PlayStation and PS2 on your Android. I don't know how to do it on iPhone. There is a way, but I don't know how to do it, so um, yes, I hope you guys liked that. Please subscribe and share. If there's any question, please let me know, and if you don't like the video, you can comment. If you hate me, you can comment. Uh, um, Whatever, it's all good. Uh, it's all positive at the end of the day. Um, I hope you guys like my video. Please uh, keep watching if you like it. <laughs> uh, but other than that, have a nice day. Thank you for watching my videos. Peace.